my name is uh, Salem, Salem Noh. Uh, I'm 26 years old. I'm from Iraq. Uh, uh, I came with get out from Iraq at uh, like uh, uh, 9 February. Uh, we uh, reach, we get to the Lesbos Islands like uh, in uh, March 6th. Uh, and we are here in this Ritsona camp uh, about five months. Actually, when we when we get when we get to uh, uh, Piraeus, uh, they told us there is a new camp. I said, I know it will be tense or it's a bad situation, but it's better than all together uh, because of this communicable diseases. Uh, but, uh, the one who were explaining how the situation, he told us it is building. You have Wi-Fi, you have uh, showers, you have everything that you want, everything really, uh, it's very good to camp. Uh, they were lying to us actually, so when we get here, nothing, raining, it was raining, uh, and this terrible tents, so really was like a disaster for us. When we came here, all, uh, it's like close area, far from cities, uh, all around it is trees, uh, no one can see the camp. We feel that we are in big jail, so actually we were not happy, but we didn't expect that it will take this long time. We, we thought that it is just one month, maybe it will be two months. We didn't know, we didn't know that it will take a really long time. We are here like five months and we don't know how long more we will stay here. It was uh, after we stayed here that they said that the, it, that's it, the border would not be open, so uh, and they told the people to refugees to try by Skype to get an appointment for, for relocation and it was like something fake, they were lying to the people. So the people they were trying, 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 no one get uh, to to appointment, no, no one answered Skype, it was something fake. So a few ask you in HDR, uh, look at these people like they are human, they have feelings, so they get stressed, stressed, then how, what would, will happen in the future? They, the, the answer is always nobody knows, we don't know how long it will take. So when we don't know anything about our future, this makes us like uh, really stressed and uh, have no hope. You know, all these people who came out from his home like freely, uh, we all like uh, in force, I mean, we, we couldn't live in our countries, we get out from because of war. So we suffered in our country, we suffered in our way, uh, and we're still suffering in tents. We didn't expect that we will get in Europe, which the countries that really they, we, we thought that they know what humanity means. And I see they failed because there are many, many thousand people that are trying illegally. So I think UNHCR, European Union, they failed of this program because the way for those people who, wanna, who have money, who is rich, uh, it's open for them. Actually, they fly to Germany, they fly to Italy, Spain, any country they want, they fly there illegally, by fake passports. So I, I see they failed. So who will stay here who is poor? If I have 5,000, I can just in 2-3 hours be in Germany. As they say, crisis, crisis. It's not crisis. It is 50,000 for all Europe countries, 28 countries. It's nothing. Really, for them, it's nothing. It's something like they can do it like in one week. This is like something politic, economical things that we don't understand. Some government, some NGO, some organization, they, this, is, they, it, this is for them. Uh, we are like something for them, like sell us. They get money for us and they don't care about us for how long staying here. Here this camp we have like 19 pregnant women. We have four newborn babies. Why they don't think about them? in? Nothing. I don't. I don't see anything. Anyone who really care about them. So this makes me to lose hope. So the thing that we do, you see now, my family, we to to avoid the stress. We daily we play music. We uh, painting. We do something that to 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 reduce the stress. We write. We read. We paint. We play music. We make us ourselves busy. Something just to to have a hope. Some of them, they are telling us, you look happy. I told them, no, I'm not happy. I'm like you. But when I cannot do something, I will not just, I, will, I don't want to give up. I don't want to stress to control on me and be nervous and be fighting and uh, get sick of this. 
So this is the only way to, to do this, especially because of my parents. I have to do something to make them happy, to, 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 because they suffered more than us. Maybe I'm 26 years old, I'm, I displaced from my city maybe like four times, but my parents maybe more than eight times. They went to Syria in before like I don't know how many years, two, two years they stayed in Syria, they, they came, all they left, they are just trying to survive. So here they are really in stress. So I have to do something to make them happy a little. If, if I gave up and I'm always sad, then they will get sad more than me. So I'm trying to, I'm pretending actually, to, that I'm happy, I'm playing music, and I'm optimistic, always I'm, actually I'm lying to them. Sometimes I'm telling them, no, this, ma this month something will happen, or this 10 days or 20 days something will happen. Be optimistic. I'm trying to give them hope, but actually that hope that I don't have. But I have to do something for my parents. Maybe I have uh, power more than them, they, so I have to do something for them. Everyone know what is happening. To know that uh, these people who are here, like they suffered. Like, if I talk about my people, Yazidi, Yazidi religion, Yazidi people, they are not displaced or refugee for just five months, like me and the other people from Syria. No, they, some of them, like, uh, most of them, three years, they're living in tents in Iraq. So three years without school, three years without just hiding themselves, in, living in tents, in very bad situation. And they came here to go to have a life, and they stuck here. And now we have like about 3,500 Yazidis. And look, we are here, we stuck here, and all that happened. They lost their, their family, their friends, their everything, we lost all of them. Three years without home, still we are living in tents in Europe in Greece and no one cares.